Hello, automators, and welcome to Workflow Live, the weekly video where we teach you how to automate a process in your business without writing a single line of code. My name is Andrew Dodds, and in this week's video, we are going to show you how to update information in your base with a form. Now, you may have heard that this is not possible, and that's simply not true. You can update information with a form, and there's a lot of reasons you might want to do that. And in today's example, we're going to put ourselves in the shoes of maintaining, let's say, an employee directory on a people team. Maybe we work within HR, but you know, this, this could be for updating information in a, a CRM, for instance. This could be for uh, membership ap applications. This could have a variety of use cases. Um, so if this sounds like something interesting to you and you want to know how to power up your forms and update information simply from a form, this is for you. So let's jump into it. Um, I'm going to make this smaller and you should be able to see my screen. We've got our people directory here and we need just two tables. We've got a people directory table and an updates table. Okay. Now the people directory table is where we're gonna have uh, the information on people, okay? So this is where that source of truth lives. And I've got myself as an example here. So we're capturing my email, phone number, I've got a headshot. Um, we're surfacing the record ID, which you can do through simple formula, if you don't know that already. Um, I've got a button here for updating the information. We'll talk about this in a minute. We've got a form and a calculation, and we'll talk about this form calculation in a moment as well, okay? Now in our, in our second table, the updates table, this will be a running list every single time someone makes an update. Um, and we're going to have an automation that's going to look at what the update is here in this table, and it's going to apply that to our record based on um, our update link. Okay. So, really simple setup, and our update form lives here in the updates table. Okay. I'm going to show you what I've, I've done here with the link, but this builds upon what we learned in the first session. So if you haven't seen how to pre-fill and hide form fields, um, I'll put a link in the description. You should check that out first. But essentially, we're gonna, we're gonna do a version of that with some conditional fields here, okay? So you'll see that um, if we just open this form, you'll see that we have our, our record ID. Now in the version of this that the, the user would be interacting with, they won't even see this because we're gonna hide it. Again, I teach that in the, the previous video. Um, and you can sort of say what you're gonna update and it will um, show you the information that's pre-filled for that. Okay, so we'll take a look at an example here in a moment, but this is how that, how that base form works, okay? So you'll see that it's popping up, uh, based on what we're selecting here, it's popping up a field. And that's where we'll be able to make our change. Now, what we need to be able to do is pre-fill the information with the information that we currently have here, okay? So you see, we've got our email of andrew at email.com, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And for each new person that's added to this directory, you know, they're going to have different values, but we're always going to, in that form that we just took a look at, we're always going to, like if someone says they're going to make a change to the email, when they check that box, we want to see this pre-filled, okay? And the way you're going to do that, I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail here. I'll keep this up for a second so that you can copy this over. You can also look at the, the previous uh, video that I mentioned. We're going to concatenate um, our form URL which is right here. That URL is always the same. That's from the updates table. And then we're gonna say that we're pre-filling some of the fields. So we're saying we're pre-filling the name. We wanna use the formula encode URL component because this will allow the form to, to read that better, okay? Um, so it's gonna be dynamic. And we're pre-filling the email and the phone and the record ID. And with the record ID, we're actually also hiding that. 
So hide record ID is true. So now that you understand that, you can see that this link is not showing the record ID. And if I say I've got to make a change to my email, I can see what my email is here. I can make the change. So let's say it's um, actually Andrew DODDS at email.com. I can select multiple. So if I've got multiple changes to make, okay. And um, actually, let's leave my name at that. I'm just going to make a change to the email. And the um, there you see that the automation has come through and changed that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up these automations in a moment. Um, but at a high level, we're adding all of this information that allows us to pre-fill the field with the information that exists in the database that they've previously submitted. And you can um, give them this link or you could share this uh, a view of this where, where they see their information and they can just click on the update button. And this update button is just pointing towards this link. So that's how you do that. Okay, formula is just this field. And when they click on update my record, then they'll get taken to that form. Okay, now let's talk about what you have to do from an automations perspective to, to achieve what we just looked at, which was the updating of the email. Okay, it's simple automation. Um, and you're gonna probably do one for each field that is possible to update. So right now I just have one set up for update email and update headshot. Let's take a look at update email. So you're gonna say when a record matches conditions, so that's gonna be our trigger in the updates table. And when the update has email, remember that's a selection they've made in order to access the value and change the value. So that's why we did it with that checkbox sort of conditional formatting in the form. Uh, it's a very elegant solution. Um, and that's your, that's your condition. So when that's the case, when there is an email update, and you wanna say, by the way, you wanna say has any of, so that if someone has selected multiple, it's still gonna run. If you say is email and someone has selected email and headshot as an example, it's not gonna run. So just say has any of, leaves you with the flexibility that you want. And then you're simply gonna just run a quick update in the people directory table, which is that first table. Um, and you're gonna grab the record ID by hitting the blue plus here and just say, you want to update the record ID, right? Um, so that that record ID is pulling from the previous step, okay? That's pulling from the one that matches the conditions. So you're going to do that. And then you're going to grab the, the field that you want to update, which in this case is the email field, okay? So you're going to click on choose field, you're going to find email field, and then you're going to press on the, the blue plus here hit continue, and you're gonna pull in the new email value from that previous step, okay? So um, that is that is essentially the steps that you have to take. Now let's watch this one more time in action and we'll do two changes. I'll make a change to the email and a change to the headshot since that's what I have here. Now there, one thing to, to note on this is that when it comes to updating information, we can pre-fill everything except for an image in a form. That's okay, because they could see it in that shared view um, if, if they needed to see what they had submitted. Um, but we can attach a, a new file here. So let's just find a new photo. Let's say my headshot is something else. Okay. Do the headshot. So we'll upload that. That's going to be my new headshot and my new email. It's going to be Andrew at gmail.com. We'll go ahead and click submit. It's been submitted. Let's come back to our table and you'll see 
that it has updated right away. Andrew at gmail.com with the new headshot. And you can track your changes here in the updates table so you can see exactly what was updated. So we've got our fields here that are showing that we updated the headshot in the email on this date. So that is it when it comes to a clever way to update information in your database with a form. Um, and you can use this for a variety of ways. We'd love to hear how folks are using it, what their use cases are, and uh, what you come up with here. Let me know if you have any questions. If this was valuable, feel free to like and subscribe. We've got a lot more content on these types of workflows coming. Um, and uh, the thing that we're going to be taking a look at next week is how you can create a client portal with software as Airtable at using Airtable on the back end. Um, so a place where your clients could go to see the projects they're working on, start a new project, um, and you know make changes to an existing project, uh, maybe see their invoices, things like that. So I hope you'll join us then, and thanks again for tuning in.